Hello everyone, it's the Truly Outrageous Doll Collector here, and today we have wigs. Lots of wigs, as you've read by the title. And uh, depending on how this goes, you may see something in the title which will leave me very excited and be the reason, biggest reason why I got this. So I paid a bit more than I wanted for this. Uh, let's say I paid about $4 a wig. Uh, then count them and you do the math. <laughs> So, yeah, so, uh, I got this, and then, oh, well, we're going to sandwich bags now for a while, but we got a bunch of wigs here, they were advertised as live, uh, so, wow, okay, uh, they went a little overkill on that, but, all right, cool, cool, uh, wow, okay, like I said, uh, I'm good on sandwich bags, apparently. Uh, wow. All right. Uh, I appreciate it, at least. Uh, so, start off. So, this is a... We'll just let that fall. So, this is a Sophie wig. Uh, I do believe, and nine times out of ten, you can tell it's live by the peg inside. Uh, so, this is a Sophie wig. I believe this is for the... Salon doll. I think this is for the salon doll. Uh, I don't own her yet, as far as I'm aware, so uh, take my guesses with a grain of salt. Uh, and here, uh, here's another live wig. So this one's a wig pack, because I, I think, actually, uh, this may be a wig pack, or it's one of the live uh, color dolls that came out later in the lifespan. Uh, I think the camera makes it look more orange, but it is definitely like a a ruby red, I'd say. If it looks orange, it's more of a ruby red. So, uh, and then we got this wig here. So this, uh, okay, this is another live wig. Uh, this is a Daniela wig, I believe, uh, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I don't think it's a flip wig. I think it's a genuine, uh, just standard wig. So yeah. Uh, not sure which one this is just yet, but still very cool. Okay, uh, where am I putting these? Oh, that's right, one of them fell, so we'll just try to put that over there. Then, next, we have this one. Okay, so there's that hair here. Uh, so I believe this is a Hayden wig. Uh, it's either Hayden or Katie, but I'm pretty sure it's Hayden. Uh, pretty cool, as I'm going to say for a lot of these, <laughs> so I'll try not to repeat myself, but, um, so, there goes that one. Uh, they're blowing away because I have a fan on in here to keep the room a bit cool, so, uh, so it looks like one of the wefts, uh, got pulled in there, but this wig, I think, is a wig pack wig. Uh, actually, no, I think this is a... I think this is a dancer wig. Yeah, I think this is for the uh, dancing dolls. So, because it's perfectly rooted on both sides. So I think this is a dancer wig. Uh, not sure who's right away, but still really cool. A nice double wig. Uh, again, has a peg in there. Uh, some of them have longer pegs than others, and that's usually the generation. Uh, the originals had long pegs, and the heads had a small, a smaller hole. Whereas the uh, later generation had a smaller peg and like a more open hole. So there's like a divot and then the actual hole. So to help the wakes be put on easier, which is pretty cool. That was a nice touch. Um, okay, so, oh, yes. Okay, so this is the reason why I bought this. Okay, so some of these I'm pretty positive are Moxie Teen wigs, which is probably why some other people bid on it too. And this, I am pretty sure uh, definitely needs a wash. So there's no peg in here, and I'm pretty positive this is for is first edition Tristan's wig. Uh, I believe. I know it's a Tristan wig. That much I do know. But so that's also we actually did get some Moxitine wig. Well, we got a Moxitine wig so far, but still very very cool. Because that's like I said, the biggest reason why I went for this was for the Moxitine the potential Moxie Teen wigs, which one of them is definitely is right now. So that's awesome. Uh, we got this wig here. Again, this is most likely Sophie. Uh, but I do like the, 
the blue. I think it's more of a navy blue, either navy or midnight blue, but still very nice. This wig, uh, this is definitely not a live wig. I believe this is a Creatable World wig uh, with the, the that there. And I think this went to one of the wig packs. It was either a wig pack or it was to one of the starter packs for one of the characters, but pretty neat, pretty neat. Rooted rather nicely, but yeah. So that's a possible Creatable World wig. I think I might put that to its own area. The next we have this live wig. I believe this may be first edition Katie's. It's either first or second edition or pet pals as I call it. So this one's rubber band kind of cut off. So I'll try to be careful when I wash this. Uh, as careful as I can anyway. I may try to re reset it so that uh, it doesn't lose its form, but we'll see. But there's that one. Then this is another, I actually think this is a, an Alexis wig. Pretty cool. And this one's actually pretty soft and nice. It doesn't really have a smell, which is good. Uh, but sometimes if they're washed, you could probably smell like the shampoo or dish soap or whatever. And then this, this is a first edition Sophie wig. This is like my bajillionth one of this wig. <laughs> I have so much of this, it's not even funny. I could probably just, I probably won't be able to give these wigs away. <laughs> so there's that one. This is another possible Moxie Teens wig. Uh, so it does have a thing that's stuck on it, but yes, I'm pretty positive. This is Arizona's wig. Oh, that's awesome, man. It's either Arizona's or it's a wig pack, but still so cool. I definitely need more Moxie Teen wigs, so this is just amazing. Like I said, $4 a wig isn't terrible for Moxie Teen wigs, especially. Uh, here's another Liv. So this one, I believe, is Daniela's. Uh, it does have some color in there. It's like more of a dark brown with some like lighter brown or kind of like a more darkish red kind of hue, but pretty cool. Hair is nice quality as they should be. And then here we have another uh, not live wig, I don't believe. Uh, okay, yeah, so this one, uh, okay, I'm trying to see. All right, this one may be a Moxie Teen. No, no I don't think it's Moxie Teens. Uh, I'm not sure what wig this would be. It's definitely not the not same as Creative World, but it's a smaller, it looks like a smaller head compared to these. Well, maybe it, hmm. this may actually be a Moxie Teens Afro. It may be, it looks to be about the same way uh, I just thought they were usually bigger, so I may be wrong, but I think this may be a Moxie Teens uh, Afro wig. And then in here, we have a couple hats that are added to this. So I believe these are Moxie, my, nah, I believe these are uh, live hats. I think, I believe this, as it falls, I believe that this one here is first edition Katie's, I do believe. Uh, and this one, I'm genuinely unsure, but still really cool, it's like a beret. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure is a Creatable World wig uh, with the head with the head shape there, pretty cool. I'm gonna try to open these without uh, ripping them. That seems to be totally working so far. Then this, yet yeah, another live wig, who, which is still relatively intact, so that's good. Uh, like I said, trying to get the wefts out and, or you know, whatnot. So this one's uh, rubber band is still intact, so that's good. 
Again, this one may be Katie or a wig, lit or a wig pack. Still very cool. I think there's like two or three black afros in here. Uh, so here's this one, uh, little peg. So this is Liv. I believe this is Daniela. She seems to like have. She seems to like putting color in her hair. So, but this one's really cool. This one is a Sophie wig. I'm not sure which one at the moment, but it's still very neat. I. This may be the sleepover wig. I have to double check, but very cool. As are the rest of them, of course. Here, so this is my second one of this wig. And I don't see this one pop up too often. Uh, so this one, I think is, uh, I think this one is Alexis's Queen of Hearts wig. Uh, from the Wonderland Theater series, uh, since she is the Queen of Hearts in that. I am not too positive, but I'm pretty sure it is. I have to double check, but very cool regardless. And Alexis usually has these really tight curls in her do, so. And here is another Sophie slash wig pack wig. Again, not too sure. Sophie does like her pink. So this might be an actual one. I think I actually own this one already. I think that clip looks super familiar, but still very nice to have some of these. You know, you can't have too many lip wigs, especially when you find more dolls out there that are missing them. Here is a uh, Katie wig. So some, some of the wefts are like trying to stick out and it needs to get retied. But uh, yeah, so this, I believe is, it's my nature, I think. It's either, it's my nature or first edition. You know, it might be first edition actually, but very cute pigtails, very nice detail. And then this is the next possible Moxie Teens wig, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and if it is, which seems like it may be, this, yeah, okay. So this one may be, let's see. So I believe this one is a wake pack. I think this is a wake pack. And this one is Arizona's. Uh, she has a pretty curly uh, brownish black hair. Uh, like I said, the, all the Moxie Teen ones definitely need a wash because they feel kind of gross, but... So I believe this is Arizona's wig. Whether first or second, I don't think they changed the wig style. Uh, my second edition, Luce, is missing her wig. And my one inbox, I uh, have to double check. Here's another possible Creatable World wig. Very nice, very cool. Either Barbie or Creatable World, they're both by Main Motel, but I'm pretty sure these are Creatable World specifically. Then we have this live wig. So this one just has one random curl in there, but super smooth, super silky, super nice. They don't, these, these ones don't need a wash really. Um, but they're super nice. And again, I think this is a wig pack. Very cool. There's another yellow uh, blonde wig. So this one I think is Sophie first edition as well, since the first editions came with two wigs. Uh, that's right, so it means the pigtails and the other one could both be uh, first edition Katie. But um, so, cause I don't have a Sophie first edition in box, so I can't tell immediately if it's hers or not, but she does have a long blonde wig and that short blonde with a pink streak in it. Uh, paper fell. Uh, but yeah, so there's this. 
Then we have this blonde wig. So this one's super cute. So I believe this one may be Hayden with the streaks of brown, but I could be wrong. This may be Sophie's from Alice, for all I know, but pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And here's another, here's another uh, Afro wig. So this one may also be another wig, another Moxie Teens wig pack. Uh, set so it's a lot like I said all the moxie teen or potential moxie teen wigs definitely need a touch up but I thought that was really cool so yes I actually got these in a bidding war so I apologize to those who I won uh I uh I really wanted this <laughs> yeah so this the one the one that I thought was almost definitely a moxie teen's wig looks to be a creatable world or at least a Mattel one so very nice so it's nice to have more creatable world wigs then we have this uh live i believe this one is this one may be katie it uh, looks like she had some curls or crimps in there uh still has the little thing plastic thing in there i'll have to try to snip but that still has some streaks and whatnot in there. Looks looks good. So a lot of a lot of the live wigs don't need that much of a, a wash, but you know, she has a couple cut bits up here, which I think is supposed to look like that, but yeah. And then two more. So we've basically finished off the potential Moxie Teen wigs. And the rest are definitely live. And this one. All right, this one I believe is a dancing wig uh, for one of the dolls. I think it's Alexis. Uh, I could be wrong, but one of them definitely has this mixture. So it's uh, it's blue on top and brown on the bottom. So again, it's meant to flip so that you can. Uh, so that you can uh, make them look better. I mean, the idea is nice, but the execution is kind of trash. Because then, you know, you have the blue hair that's like all wave, wavy and whatnot. And it just looks like a mess. So I usually try not to worry about that function. Or if I want to do it, I just have to wash it real quick. But I might, I don't mind the actual standard look and just try to brush the blue locks in to try to hide the brown a little bit better. There's that. And we have this purple one, which is most definitely a wig pack. But again, it could also be part of the Live Colors lines. Live Bright or Live for Color. But I'm pretty sure this is a wig pack wig considering how it has a longer post stem whatever you want to call it but there's that and then last and most certainly not least we have this brown hair with green inside and this is also a live wig so this one uh, looks like it must have been chopped at some point which is unfortunate but you know whatever so this, I believe, was a Katie wig of sorts. This may be, this may actually be first edition Katie's. Uh, I don't know if it was this short or not, but commercial did encourage cutting it to style the wigs, so. But yeah, so that was the haul. I got a lot of fun wigs. Uh, we got, uh, we got four Creatable World. We have one, two, three, four, five potential Moxie teens, and then a whole bunch of others. So I said I got 32. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, that's nine. So we have 23 live wigs and 
Yeah, super cool. Uh, I guess it was pretty worth it. Like I said, I paid about $4 per wig. So, yeah, I mean, not the worst price in the world, you know, considering shipping and whatnot. So, yeah, uh, especially for the Moxie teens. But, all right, well, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for awesome content. And until next time, stay outrageous. Bye-bye. <laughs>